Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're asking, does getting a beer need to be this Orwellian? I thought of making this video after reading a recent article from the Bangkok Post, bangkokpost.com. Article is titled, Night Venues Warned to Respect Late Opening Rules. Quoting directly, all customers must show their ID cards on the mobile app Thai ID, a rule meant to prevent forged ID cards and the night venue areas will install facial recognition security cameras to record all patrons. You know, when you're looking at making policies, and I do understand, you know, I, as a father and, and just as a person out there who's concerned about young people, yeah, I get it. You know, the, you don't want kids out drinking a bunch of booze. I, I get it. I truly do. But, you know, you ha I think you have to do a cost-benefit analysis of these things. And first of all, is the forged Thai ID market really that vibrant? Like, I, I'm, I'm sure, you know, I was a kid myself and fake IDs are what they are. But, you know, do we need to under, you know, just to get a beer now, you got you to gotta log into an app and then have facial recognition and all of this stuff? Is that is the, is the cost to liberties as a tie really worth the benefit of maybe the odd 17-year-old doesn't necessarily get a beer? I don't know what the answer to this that is exactly. In my opinion, it's not worth the juice is not worth the squeeze, if you will. The the end result of maybe, okay, we've we've sort of forestalled or mitigated against any kind of underage or a great deal of underage drinking, that's certainly a laudable goal, but is it worth that level of Orwellian undertaking just to, you know, have a drink? I, I just don't think so. So again, now, will this be massively implemented? I kind of doubt it, but it is one of those things that, you know, it, it's kind of one of those things that creeps up on you. And after COVID, I, I got to tell you, my hackles just get up anytime I ever hear about any of these cockamamie ideas that governments come up with regarding, oh, you need to have six forms of ID and we're going to have to take your retinal scan in order to do X, Y, Z. You know, I just think it's a bit over the top. And when you really do a cost benefit analysis of what's being given up versus what benefit is being gained, I'm not sure that, it, that the logic bears out.